Can I hear please one more huge round of applause for Davida? I don't think I can beat you at getting everybody's attention, but I'm just gonna try. Where's RB? The MC? Oh, here. Yeah. I don't think I can beat you on that, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam Sarawa Maju Makmo. The Right Honorable <coughs> Datuk Patinggi. Tan Sri Dr. Abang Haji Abdul Rahman Zohari bin Tun Dato Abang Haji Openg, Premier of Sarawak. The Honorable Dato Sri Haja Nancy Shukri, I'd like to call my friend. Minister for Women, Family and Community Development. The Honorable Dato, oh, sorry, she's not coming. Dato Fatima. The Honorable Dr. Haji Abdurrahman bin Haji Junaidi, my very good friend's husband, Deputy Minister for Utility and Telecommunication, the Honorable Dr. Haji Sharifah Hasida binti Said Aman Ghazali, Deputy Minister and Premier De Department, Law, MA 63 and State Federal Relations. The Honorable Dato Dr. Haslan Abang Hitney, my nephew. Deputy Minister for Energy and Environmental Sustainability. Tan Sri Puan Sri Dato Dato Datin Datin, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Terima kasih sudi datang ke majlis kami orang malam tu. I am delighted to welcome all of you here this evening to celebrate Per Insurance 50th anniversary. We are particularly honoured and privileged to have our beloved young Ahmad Brahmat Premier. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend our celebration. I believe this is the fourth function you have of the day, so I'll, I'll try to make my speech as short as possible. <laughs> okay, Pay Insurance was formed in 1974 when SCDC, together with Lloyds of London Broker called Heath Hudik Langeveld, joined forces and formed Pay Insurance Broker in order to cater for the oil and gas boom in Bintulu at that time. In case you're all wondering, I wasn't one of the founding members at that time. I was still in school. <clears throat> SEDC and Heath Hudig Langeveld divested their shares before I joined the company. My active role investment, uh, in, in, in involvement in per insurance as a shareholder only began in 1996 when I acquired the shares of previously owned by Coprasi Wanita. I'm looking at um, Auntie uh, Jarifah Modia because she was the chairman of Coprasi Wanita then. Yeah. When I acquired those shares, I have to admit I was extremely young, incredibly naive, and armed with a master's degree in tourism marketing, not insurance, tourism marketing. To say the least, I was unprepared for the cut and thrust of the financial sector. Completely different industry. <clears throat> At the time, the existing shareholders had very little confidence in my ability to turn the company around and were reluctant to make the much needed capital injections that we needed at that time. I was again forced to inject my own funds, putting me on the road to becoming the majority shareholder in the company later on. Furthermore, because of the previous management's um, various problems, our Bank Nagara license was suspended in 1996. As a result, 
we were not allowed to operate, which then led us to losing Malaysian LNG, Malaysia liquefied natural gas, and which was responsible for 75% of our firm's revenue then. Overnight, the company plunged into the red. <clears throat> However, despite our precarious finances, I saw the potential in the business. Or maybe it was just youthful naivety. One reason for my optimism was that Bank Negara had frozen the issuance of new licenses for brokers, and I realized that if we could only prove ourselves to Bank Negara and to the market as a whole, my insurance would rise again. But as I began to develop my plan to turn my insurance around, I was quick to realize that I couldn't do it on my own. I needed a wingman, and that wingman needed to be an insurance professional with access to leaders in the insurance industry, as well as the relevant knowledge and expertise to mentor me while bringing new business and much needed credibility to the company. And he or she needed to be a Sorokin because I wanted to keep our company 100% Sorokin owned and operated. And one of the first CVs I, in, I received for the CEO's position was from Mr. Jeffrey Ho. Jeff, can you stand up, please? <laughs> the son of a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, Jeffrey was the complete opposite of me. But despite our different backgrounds and upbringing, his experience, knowledge, and networking were exactly what I needed. And together, we set about establishing the processes and the systems necessary to build the, a strong company. We also created a long-term vision for the company and developed the mission to get us there. We developed a unique set of values necessary to build a strong culture that would not only show our professionalism, but also begin the process of restoring the company's reputation while elevating our brand to a level where it would compete with international brokers well established in Malaysia. This was a period of relentless pressure and not enough sleep and not only having to build a robust business, but also looked for new business opportunities. Jeffrey and I worked tirelessly to make the company work. But it soon became clear that the Sarawak market was too saturated and Jeffrey and I had to look across the water to West Malaysia. So we set about opening an office in Kuala Lumpur. We found a tiny office sandwiched between a cafe and a karaoke joint in Plaza Bajaya in Jalan Imbi. It was cheap and we could only afford cheap rent at that time. We had no money. <laughs> but we hit the ground running in KL, reaching out to all of our contacts in business community, asking for referrals and working frantically to get meetings with prospects. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, it was really, really tough get, getting business in KL and establishing the company in KL. My insurance reputation was battered to say the least and our position was precarious to say the least. Furthermore, there was haze and the terrible SARS and other challenges were on the horizon. But we believed in our company we believed in ourselves, and we had youth and determination on our side. So in 1998, we got the lucky break every new business needed. <clears throat> Tansri Effendi Nawawi started NTV7 in KL, and he very kindly supported a Sarawakian broker like ours, and he gave us the opportunity to look after his corporate insurance program I think, Edda, you would know this. Yeah. In the same year, we also won our first mega project, which was the Ministry of Education, 
which was the building of teachers' quarters all over Malaysia, and it was one billion. And at that time, that was our first one billion project, and we were so happy jumping up and down when we got the project. This gave us a foothold in KL, and our reputation for excellent service grew and grew. We secured more clients, including in University Malaya, Media Prima, Equity National, High Tech Padu Berhad, Icon Offshore Berhad, and some other Petronas projects, and many other companies. <laughs> our commitment to an outstanding service culture helped us as we made ourselves available at all times of the day and night, or night, to answer questions, chase for the claims to be paid to the clients and ensure clients were happy. But the hard work was far from over. There were still many exhausting late nights spent working on tenders that led to nothing but huge disappointments. Am I right, Charlotte? We actually slept in the office because we only finished at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. So many of the standards we didn't win, but we persevered. Much sweat and many tears were shed, chasing deals that never materialized, often lost to larger, more established competitors able to undercut us. But we persevered. We remained agile and we made a lot of sacrifices and adjustments to make our business <coughs> successful. Every challenge was overcome, making us stronger and better in the process. Over the next 10 years, we short, slowly but surely established the Pinturan brand. Myself, Jeffrey, Eric, Charlotte, and Kuma. Can you stand up, please? We, we worked tirelessly to build confidence in the business <clears throat> in a cynical marketplace dominated by established local and international brands, brokers. <clears throat> Another milestone was reached in 2008 when we secured our first aviation account winning the Aerot Insurance Program. <clears throat> Thank you, Dato Sri Ahmad Johans even though he's not here, and the sons, and to the late Dr. Sri Alkani for believing in us and giving us the opportunity. Thank you, guys. They're all in that table, all the four handsome men on that table. As we inch towards profitability, we encourage shareholders to reinvest pro profits into the company, allowing us to send personnel to Lloyds of London brokers for training, and to learn from the best in the business. While we focus our efforts on Kuala Lumpur, we remain committed to our roots in Sarawak. As we secured more wins in West Malaysia, we used the successes to rebuild our reputation back home. Slowly, Sarawakian business owners began to support us, and with more astute hires, we were able to build an enterprise specializing in a broad cross-section of disciplines, including aviation, construction, hospitality, infrastructure, logistics, media, oil and gas, and property. As our reputation improved in Sarawak, we achieved many more notable milestones. One of the most memorable was winning the Pan Borneo Highway Phase 1. Thank you, Tan Sri Bustari, in believing in us. And thank you to, um, thank you to the team from Penbonia Highway. Okay, um, I, need, I need tech support because the internet has died and my speech is gone. Can someone help me, please? I can't get back on it. Sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. I did not memorize my speech, so I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, I got it back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 
Give me a minute. Okay. Okay, another influential captain of industry is Tan Sri Abdul Aziz bin Dato Haji Hussein. I can't see him though. <laughs> Who also believed in us enough to trust us with several other major companies in Sarawak, namely Sarawak Metro and Sarawak Petcam. Thank you, Tan Sri Aziz, for your support. Despite all the trials and tribulations, here we are celebrating our 50th anniversary. I'm proud to say that now we place over 200 million worth of premiums annually in the market, representing assets of more than 35 billion ringgit in the market. The success we have enjoyed over the past five decades and especially the past 30 years would have not been possible without the strong support and confidence of all of our clients and stakeholders from both the government and private sectors, many of whom are represented here today. It would also not have been possible without the support of my board of directors and all those who have worked in per insurance, past and present starting with Datin Siti Shugaya, a very strong supporter of the company. Madam Yen. Charlotte Pohan, the beautiful lady behind. Stand up, everybody wants to see how beautiful you are. <laughs> Jeffrey Ho, and also, and also my daughter, Aisha, who is not able to be here today, but but as I'm a, I'm a proud mother, I'd like to say that she is only not able to come bec be because she's been uh, asked by her company to represent the company to speak as a panel speaker in New York for the New York Climate Week. She's, she's an environmental consultant. We digressed. I'm going back to my speech now. You guys are the foundation on which the company has grown. I thank you all for your unwavering support, commitment, and belief in Per Insurance. Looking ahead, Per Insurance Broker is committed to updating its capabilities and portfolio, providing exceptional le levels of knowledge, expertise, and service to our clients. Under our premier, ambit ambitious and clear leadership, Surao is becoming known for breaking new ground, pushing boundaries, and building relationships that benefit all of us. <laughs> Sir, I hope you will continue to set the standards by which all of the rest of Malaysians will follow. Your determination to drive investment into Sarawak whilst raising our profile at home and abroad is providing an environment that will not only create jobs for Sarawakians, but also help businesses like ours expand domestically, regionally, and maybe internationally. Many of <coughs> you tonight have come from Sabah, KL, Singapore, Korea, and London to help us cel celebrate this special occasion. I'd like to thank all of you, including OCI from Korea, Mr. TJ Kim and Sid Joy, um, for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. It means a lot to us. Finally, and once again, I think my speech is getting too long, I would like to thank Yang Ahmad Berhormat, Premier of Sarawak, for gracing this auspicious occasion with his presence. Thank you, guys. Thank you. A big hand to Puan Rafida, Adnan, the CEO of Perinsuran Broka. Boleh saya dengarkan, minta tolong kita berikan tepukan yang paling-paling gemuruh for these amazing, amazing achievements and that beautiful, beautiful kerikam. Nang kaca.
So we have our guests who flew in from uh, different parts of the world as well. I was uh, being informed from the UK, who are here, Singapore, here, Korea, Sakhamida. One Korean song? Uh, nobody, nobody but you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue with the uh, amazing evening. So, uh, I, I announce now dinner from uh, Hilton Kuching, and again, allow me to invite on stage to entertain us. Please.